Speaker, ladies and gentlemen of the House, former member of this chamber reminded me one time this is not a tennis match, it's a basketball game. Don't feel like you have to hit every ball back. However, in response to my good friend uh, from the great Southwest, I was, uh, I guess for a moment there, I thought maybe I'd fallen into a parallel universe and I was in a different state talking about some other bill besides the transportation bill that we passed last year. You know, in almost every high school you go into, they've got trophies of all the accomplishments of the sports teams and the academic teams. Well, you know what? If we had something similar here in the Capitol, I don't think I'd be seeing a trophy on 3202 as some of the best legislation that we've ever passed. And I don't think there's been any committees being formed to put a monument up around the great, this great capital as to that piece of legislation that we had last year. Let's see, we started off that it was cobbled together at the last minute. It had abusive driver fees in it. And let's see, what happened about a week ago, we found out that the whole darn thing wasn't even constitutional. And so, uh, you know, Mr. Speaker, I think that uh, if ever there was a need to go back to the drawing board and take a look at this thing, now's the time, and we're perfectly willing to do that. And as long as we're getting things off our chest, you know what would be really nice is if there were a little participation from this side of the aisle in those discussions. As I understand it, you know, we've kind of been invited not to be at the table on that. Unless you think my comments are partisan, you know what? The Senate Republicans haven't been invited either, and that isn't right either. If, you know, if we're going to get something done and accomplish this in a comprehensive, bipartisan fashion, all four of those entities need to be together. And if we're going to have a little conversation with the governor, maybe we start with getting all the folks at the table, and we're ready to sit down and talk about it and, and come up with a real fix to the transportation needs of this state instead of that thing we put together last year. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I feel a lot better now.